Hello, hello. Today, let's talk about the new um, iOS, Apple iOS 18 operation system on our Apple iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. What is new on our iPhone 16 Pro or Pro Max? We have a new button, a shutter button on the upside here, uh, which we can use to um, take photos start the photo app for example take photos um, make movies and so on and we can push this twice and use the um, haptic feedback or the um, the touch area on that of course we have the action button the action button is programmable with a lot of um, stuff which we can program there like the photo app and of course better camera system um, it's faster, bigger, better, and so on. But the big bunch beyond this is with a big bunch of possibilities comes the RS with our um, with our iPhone 16 Pro. This is cool because we can customize our iPhone in more ways than ever. We stay connected with friends and family and relieve our favorite moments. And with the Apple intelligence, the things we do every day become even more magical because AI comes to our um, system, Apple intelligence. On all the iPhone 16 models, but also on the 15, 15 Pro, Pro Max models, the iOS 18 introduced the Apple intelligence, which draw on our personal context to give us intelligence that most helpful and relevant for us, of course. For Let's start with the big thing, the customizable home screen okay we we can we know this from before we push on the app we can move the app and uh, make folders and so on but if we are in this status we can go to edit and now we can add widgets this you, you know of course we can add widgets to the screen for example here we are we can um, add um, a widget with a clock or something else but we can make them bigger or smaller of course so we can edit them um, like we need it we can remove them and so on but we can more more we can customize and this is a big thing because now we can see it's what's what's going on when it is um, um, brightness level up brightness level down in the area around us uh, we can make the um, the apps bigger or smaller. Smaller is the standard way. Then we can see here the light mode, the dark mode. And you can see that's, that's totally different than before. And it looks really cool, or isn't it? But we can make more. We can make an, make an automatic. That means it will change automatically. Day, night time, um, brightness level around us and so on. And we can use it as a tinted design. So we can start tinting now in different styles of color, as you can see. That's a cool thing, or isn't it? So I can edit it like I like it. And of course, we can use a pipette to take, for example, mm, I, I like a screenshot. And on the screenshot, there is a color. I use the pipette. And then that's the color I uh, choose for my um, for, for, for my home screen layout. Really cool. So um, then, of course, we can go and re replace something else. That means if we are in the lock screen, you know that in the lock screen there is photo app and um, the flashlight. If we push here and go to customize, we can, of course, customize the lock screen, the home screen. But now we can additionally replace this to um, fast apps, for example. And it's nearly possible to get every app out of the control center to use that. Really cool. For example, we are going to use now this for a calculator instead of um, the the good old um, light, of course. Then we can change here the, the tint of our um, uh, back screen, for example. And of course, we can um, change um, the, the, um, the back side, the, the, the wallpaper instead too. Then we can lock 
Um, apps. That means we can make them here require face ID. Require face ID. That means uh, now we need a face ID that I can enter into the app, for example, the Photos app. Okay, that's that's a big blocked and hidden app thing. That means two new ways to protect sensitive apps and the information inside them. When others are using, for example, our device, of course. And a big update is, of course, if you go on the right upper side, go down, that is um, the control center. The redesigned control center features new groups of controls, which we can access more fluidly with a single continuous swipe down on the home screen. You see here that, that it is, there's a hard sector, that is the main control center. And we have here the music sector, iTunes, for example, and here the broadcast staff. Okay, so what we can make here, we can, of course, use this to edit this. We can make um, widgets smaller and bigger, for example, and we can add controls. And there are a lot of controls available now. Let's see what's going on here. Boy, that's a big bunch of possibilities, huh? isn't it? That's, that's really big. We can nearly get every app or every control inside this now. So that's a big new thing. And that's the controls center and the controls gallery. Can, so we can add more controls from the controls gallery, which displays all our options in one place, including new controls from our favorite apps. And we can rearrange and resize our controls, or we can swap out the lock screen controls as shown before. And of course, a big, um, a big thing behind this is the enter library. We can organize just for us, okay? Um, at the beginning, of course, it's a, it, it's really different because now there, there's no uh, it's it's totally totally uh, re-edited. That means we have the photos, we have recent days, albums, and so on. Of course, or people, we have uh, uh, pinned options, memories, uh, features, photos, media types, utilities, shared albums, wallpaper suggestions. The wallpaper suggestions are really cool because the Apple intelligence gives us a suggestion which wallpaper will appear um, when uh, uh, what's good. That means the artificial intelligence behind this will uh, uh, will will edit the um, the picture and it, it edited it with the uh, with the lock screen and um, and the home screen. Really cool. And of course, we can customize and record, uh, reorder it. For example, recent days, albums, people, and we can now use this um, to to sort this um, in other style. For example, so let's let's take the people down. For example, or we can delete this. But it's not um, delete all people, of course. It's only delete the the re reorders of it, of course. We can delete the memories out of it, the trips, and so on. Or we can sort it media types uh, to the to the top, for example, and then we can look what's going on here. Here, media types are now in this area, and of course, on the iPhone 16 Pro models, we have a new option and this is with sound it's really good that means um, let's have a look here we can make audio mixer audio mixer gives us with a lot of microphones in that phone the possibilities to change in post production the sound we have standard we have in frame studio and cinematics and this works with um with uh, with apple intelligence artificial intelligence really cool um I, I've, I've done um, a, a special video for Audio Mixer. And of course, we can browse by helpful topics in our photos libraries. That's, that's a big, uh, good new thing behind this to navigate faster. And of course, we can search for nearly everything because of the um, artificial intelligence behind that. That means we can search for uh, for different stuff and then it will be automatically shows us. And a big, th a big new thing is messages. Messages give us um, a new way to play with the text. Okay, I, I'm, I, I wrote something and I can now uh, make this animated, for example. Here, now it's jittering. Let's send this and it jitters, of course. And I can answer 
with with uh, with, with tap backs. So we can use any emoji or a sticker for that. That's that's cool too, or, or you can see. And of course, you can perform so much more there because um, we stay connected with really cool features there. And we can um, schedule a message with send later, for example. Whether it's too late at night or too important for forget, we can now schedule a message to send a specific time, for example. Or it supports our theme messaging. Mm, this brings a richer media and delivers a, a, a read receipt uh, for this who don't use IMAX, um, the, the iMessages, for example. And uh, we can sort it mm, much uh, our stuff out easily because of the um, AI behind this. Um, we, we, we get right to what matters most. That means the primary category helps us to focus on what matters most, like time sensitive messages and emails from friends, family or colleges. We can make messages groups for scanning and so on. And in Safari, we get uh, highlights. That means if you search something uh, with Safari and the, uh, it shows you the focus of it, the highlights, really cool. And we can have a smarter redesigned reader if we use that. Uh, we have a password app additionally, which we, uh, we have all our credentials in one place. And this works across iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Vision Pro and Windows. And um, the, the new maps, the, the maps, of course, our, our maps here can have a lot of stuff too. That means we download the lay of the land, for example, that's possible. Or not only, um, not, not only if, if you're online, you can download this, we can create our own routes, we can save hikes for uh, offline access and so on. And we have the game mode. If we like to play with our iPhone 16 Pro, we have the game mode. If we can maximize the gameplay performance, um, we can um, have a bigger wallet stuff. You know? That's the tap to cash, for example. This brings the iPhone devices together to pay privately. Um, we, we pay using rewards or pay in installments and so on. And uh, if we have AirPods, it's hands-free Siri interaction possible. Voice isolation on the AirPods Pro up um, if you use them with the iPhone 16 Pro. We have notes, that means live audio transcription. We have crunch numbers right in our note, for example. That means if we use the notes, we can um, calculate with that. And this solves the instantly while typing, for example. Um, and um, there is uh, collapsing sections. Uh, what what what's new? A journal here. Journal is really cool. That means if you 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 use journal to make a diary, for example, we we lock our state of mind in our journal app here. We can also automatically add the time we send journaling as mindful minutes in the health app, for example, or we track goals with Insight View. Uh, we can add witches for writing prompts or streaks, and we can uh, remote uh, get uh, remote access to the Apple TV app. Uh, what's new? Mm, the home app, of course. If you use the smart home app with Apple, um, you can grant specific controls with guest access if it is possible. And of course, a big bunch of possibility with Siri is on on the scene. That means we can use Siri much much better with a lot of stuff. We can easy peasy um, ask Siri to clean the floors. Why we have this vacuum, for example, in um, in our smart uh, home integrated, so that's possible. In privacy and security, it's upgraded, of course, and uh, a better calculator. The cal the calculator is is now better as before, of course. Where it is here is the calculator, so you can see I see the operation, for example, and and more and more. Um, we access the all new math notes calculator. We have a lot of accessibilities added to this iOS or with this iOS added to our iPhone 16 Pro. That means, for example, um, eye tracking. This makes it possible for people to control the iPhone with just our eyes. Music haptic sync with iPhone taptic engine and so on. Uh, we have a new design calendar. 
uh, free form since uh, this lets us organize and present our board section. Uh, we have uh, emergency SOS live video possibilities. We can share streaming videos and recorded media during the emergency calls. The Apple Fitness Plus is much better. The phone record uh, transcribe a live call directly from the iPhone. That is AI too. That means we can make a transcribe um, while we are um, take the phone call. And the iOS 18 is a big bunch of possibility in partnership of the iPhone 16 Pro, as you can hear now. And there are so much more. Um, I've forgotten so much, but this is an um, overall um, look. And of course, because of the AI, the Apple Intelligent, it will be much better because it is learning from you and learning with the time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.